today we were in Mandela Park with a, at the Jet Strap Drift Day. I took my little brother's BMW M3 Compact with just under 300 brake horsepower. I actually love driving cars with less power, you know, like doing like loads of clutch kicks and, you know, having to actually drive the car to its limits to actually get around the track. I think it's definitely a way any driver should learn if you want to just have a bit of fun. Like, you know, it's definitely the way to go, just a standard car and just drive the absolute <laughs> It's weird being in school, you know, because like my friends, like no one's really interested in cars or anything like but it's not like playing a sport, you know, it's not like being famous for playing a sport, you know, you're doing motorsport, like it's something that you don't be accomplished for anywhere really, like, you know, like if you're famous for being like being a soccer player, you're known all over the world for no matter how good or bad you are, you know, like you're on a team, like it doesn't matter. You're trying your best to be known everywhere and trying your best, like, people to understand what drifting is like. The last year on Drifting All Stars, first year out there, I think he finished fifth in the European Championship, which I couldn't believe, like, you know, I was just over the moon. Jack Shanahan grew overnight, like even for us, everything just went so quick, like his whole name just went through the roof and even for us to adapt to that was, you know, unbelievable. We did about 5,000 kilometres round trip drive, but um, we went back, he got a podium, he was third overall in Sweden. And I was just so happy, like, it was just good, like, I, I quite understand watching him racing, like, you know, I was so happy, like, you know. Nice to say that he's a pro drifter and that my brother is Jack Shannon. People think we're crazy. All I wanted to do was live, take the boys racing and have some fun every weekend. It's tough when it's only me and dad, you know, that people are like, oh, but you have this and you have that, and they don't understand that three to four months before of it, we're stuck in the garage nearly every night just working on the car. Like, me and dad don't just arrive onto a track and just sit in and drive on, and then we just hop out and just walk away, you know? It's never been that way for me, and to be honest, I, I don't want it to be that way, because if you don't know your car, you don't know nothing, you know? That's the way I look at it, like. All the money that I've earned since I was like, eight or nine, it's all spent in drift cars. You know, like I bought my first turbo, I bought my first shuttle kit, you know. I can't get a job, I can't earn money in a way that a normal person does. Like I always work for dad, like I come off the school bus at the shop and I stay there Monday to Friday, like from like four to six, just so I can be helpful towards him. Like, you know, and I come to the garage whenever he wants me, like, you know, on a Saturday, I work all day Saturday just trying to earn my keep, you know, just making sure that he sees that I have respect for him and that, like, you know, I'm not taking anything for granted. People think that he's a spoiled 15-year-old child that gets everything for nothing. There's a policy in the house with his mother and myself, no work, no racing. Connor is my 11-year-old brother who's after starting drifting just the last two or three weeks. So it was kind of always in the nature for him to get into drifting and all that, but, um, when it came to it, you know, I didn't think he'd take to it as fast as he did. I always said, like when Jack was small, that he had serious car control. And I always knew that drifting would be definitely for him. Looking at Connor, I would have thought that Connor was an oval racer, like he races in the, the track and was green and he's been really quick and I always thought that 
that would be his niche. But looking at him now, I think he's probably he's going to go drifting as well. Geez, the first time I see him driving a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't believe that he actually put it together so quick. He's he's torn mad. He's no fear of anybody or anything really. I wouldn't be drifting if I was my brother, but hopefully I can keep going now. absolutely flying, we had great fun and then I was coming down about a hundred mile an hour and flicked in underneath the bridge. When I kicked the clutch the gearbox mount broke, the whole gearbox literally just fell down the floor so I just spun around and went like completely backwards down the track. I see my dad as one of the best drivers i ever seen. When he was 16, he like stole his dad's car and his dad's race car and got his friends to tow him to his first race day and he won a cup. He didn't even know we were there. I went over with my first day of racing and I won a trophy. I told him after what I was doing, he said I was crazy. They definitely broke the mold after making John. Do you know, when things go against you, when the chips are down, he will he will pull something out of somewhere to get back going, or you know, the effort he puts into it is... He's just won the million, really, I suppose. I think he's definitely the biggest influence on my driving, because without him, I'd know nothing. You know, even the garage working on the cars, he always, like, he's always there. Like. We build a car together, we walk together, and I'd give him my two hands if I could, just to get him out on the track at the end of the day. We brought it home and put it on the lift. We took the gearbox out, fixed all the engine mounts and everything, got the engine to place, and we just kind of tidied everything up and put it all back together. We had to stay up like most of the night to try and get the car going. And I went to bed at like four, and Dad went to bed at like six o'clock or something. So it was a really long night trying to get the car going, but we got it going. And we got a, a drive shaft made the next morning, and we were able to go to Rally Connections because we had a practice day book. It would be great if they could make a living, a proper living, out of something that you, you know, you love more than anything in the world, I suppose. Anything you do is about having fun, right, you can have the competitive side of it, but if you're not enjoying something, it's not worth doing, so but that if they even to go on a competitive level, that you still enjoy what you're doing. The most important thing for myself and John and Jack and Connor is that, number one, I suppose that we're happy and that it's a real family time for us to head away at the weekend. So. Obviously they're going to get big, but you know, I hope that we'll always be able to do that for as long as we can possibly do that. Mm -hmm.